guys really quick to give you guys a little bit of a summary of today's video We have a compilation of a bunch of days in LA pre Coachella so many fun events gifting sweets seeing new friends Of course Coachella and then post Coachella some of my thoughts and what happened afterwards Enjoy this video I had fun filming it and you get to see how my life has been going the past few weeks That was so much fun. I just had to rush home because I actually have a meeting with drumroll, please I'm going to Coachella with Neutrogena I'm so excited. Neutrogena is obviously a huge brand, a very good brand I'm very excited to be working with them, but I have an onboarding call with them Which means that they're probably gonna tell me what they're expecting what they want zoom call. I'm excited. Hello Hi, Hi how are you? I'm so excited. My plus one is so excited. Everyone's so excited. Be great. And the brand team is really excited. Yeah. Very you guys. Ah! I'm so excited. Can we just have a moment? Let me just say, I'm gonna try to go through this really quickly. I went to the Shopo lunch and it was so great. The food was amazing. The people that I sat beside were amazing. I sat next to Amanda Pavillard, if you guys know her. I've met her a few times. She's the sweetest and we plan to go to a workout next week. So hopefully that happens. And then I sat next to Hannah Goodwin, which is the creator of the SETI app, which I used to edit all my photos and was also on The Bachelor. And I literally love her. So that was great. Met with Lexi, which is one of the girls on the PR team that actually took me to Coachella the first year. And then Shopo, the brand owner, that is the brand that I went to Coachella with the first year. So literally it's such a full circle moment I had such a good time. My dress was beautiful. I felt beautiful. The food was great The venue was great like everything was phenomenal And I just feel really blessed that this is my third year going to Coachella and that every year I've worked with a brand I just love it I feel like people and creators sometimes have mixed feelings about influencers working with brands and all that kind of stuff I just want to say for my POV is like I remember watching youtubers work with all these brands and I wanted to work with a brand I thought that was so cool that they were getting sponsored and when I got my first sponsor, I was so excited to work for the brand. And if I wasn't an influencer, I would literally want to be doing marketing or working with influencers or planning the PR things. Like I remember when I was in high school, my goal was either to be on a tart trip or to plan the tart trips. And that just meant brand trips in general. So the fact that now I get to go with them and like work with these brands, it just makes me so excited because I love being creative and like, you know, coming up with ideas for them and just like delivering the work that I have to do with them. It just feels like doing little homework assignments that I actually enjoy doing so I love working with the brands all the brands that I work with I love and it's just super fun So I'm so blessed and grateful that this is my third year working with the brand and Neutrogena is huge So like I'm really excited. I'm so excited for Coachella in general Like I said, Maya is coming with me So we're gonna have so much fun and now that they just explained me the itinerary It's gonna be a packed weekend like I'm already exhausted just thinking about it But not in the way that's like oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. I don't want to do it I'm more thinking like I'm so excited. I cannot wait to be run down by the end of the weekend, which I don't know if that's a normal thought process, but I'm so excited. So anyways, that was great. I'm gonna edit for a bit, get ready. Tonight, I'm actually going to dinner with Bella and three or two other girls that I met that are from Australia. And then we're going to a party later. I'm having so much fun. I'm feeling like this is a real influencer day in the life in LA. If you're an OG, you would know that Miss Little Fernanda in her bedroom would have loved to be here. Hello, my name is Fernanda Ramirez and I am a makeup stylist slash enthusiast. So really, thank you guys. None of this would be possible without you. I love you guys. So thank you for watching. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning, bright and early. We've got two more days before Coachella and two very, very, very packed days. Today, I have a workout Pilates class, like literally in two minutes, I'm waiting for the Uber. I have to film a podcast today. I have a Revolve event. I have a gifting suite. I have an influencer event later tonight. So like super busy day. I wanna do a lot of healthy eating, staying active. And then tomorrow, same thing. I have a gifting suites in the morning. I have a dinner with my manager. I have a lash appointment, an eyebrow appointment. I probably should get my nails done. Like I'm literally, so many things are happening, but I'm very excited. So anyways, let's go to Pilates. I just booked, put the name of it on the screen, but it's Reformer Pilates, so I'm very excited. <laughs> You 
guys, I brought Trina with me and she's going to try the Air One Sinos Gel. I've always wanted to try it, so let's do it. This is our chase for the day. Oh, okay, perfect. We have King Coconut Water, just because I feel like this tastes really bad. I'm kind of scared of it, honestly. <laughs> chase, chase. chase. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> How do you get it down? It actually took me like 20 minutes to swallow. That felt like I was in the sea. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Well, that's worse than I thought it would be, honestly. I know. I thought it was gonna be not as bad. I'm like, no, it tastes exactly oh. like what you think sea moss gel would taste like. I really, it's the texture. I, I know. Not. It took me, like, I have to, like, prepare to swallow. I it couldn't. Was, like, it was just getting <laughs> stuck in my gums and my cheeks. I need more coconut. <laughs> oh, you're natural now. Wow, oh, that was horrible. I've been trying to do this for the past, like, every other day. I haven't seen many changes yet. We're on our way to our first gifting suite. So basically before Coachella, a bunch of PR agencies and brands will host gifting suites, which means that influencers can come and basically pick out stuff for free. It's actually in the hopes that you end up probably wearing their stuff or posting about it, but it is a super cool opportunity. Ooh, look at her with all her bags. We just left the gifting suite. At the next suite, we were feeling spontaneous, so let me show you the behind the scenes of what happened here. Going to an event in LA and ending up with a tattoo was not on my 2024 bingo card, but let me tell you what happened. So me and my friend Trin go to the Peixoto event, and immediately we noticed that there was a little tattoo stand going on, so we were intrigued. We looked at the tattoos and they were so cute. Something in the air just felt right. If I'm being completely honest, I looked at the little sheet of tattoos they had there, and the first one that came to my mind was the 555 tattoo. I don't know why it called my name, it was drawing to me. We had to put our names down to get in line, and immediately I got a text back and the text back was from a number that said 333. So immediately there was another sign there. That just meant that I had to get it. These tattoos were semi-permanent, which meant that they only last up to three years, which was just enough of an excuse for me to get it. I was a little bit nervous, but I sat down on the table and she told me that it was going to feel like a cat scratch. She immediately started making the tattoo and it honestly didn't hurt at all. I was expecting significantly worse. But then again, this tattoo is literally a millimeter and kind of looks like a freckle. So like, I'm not surprised it doesn't hurt. Anyways, I'm low-key obsessed with what it looks like. It is small it is little it will fade soon but it means change and growth and i feel like it's the perfect reminder that change is inevitable and it's not something that we should be scared of it is something that we should embrace and sometimes the most meaningful and great experiences come from change and it is the things that you were actually always longing for not only did i get a tattoo but so did trin and her says 444 so we got little bestie matching tattoos and i love the way they turned out <laughs> happening right now. Yeah. 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 Now we're getting ready for Coachella. I'm currently in the midst, midst, I don't even know how to say it, in the midst of packing my bag. And there's so many things to pack, I'm a little bit stressed, but you guys are just going to watch me pack. I have so many fun stuff from like the gifting suites that I'm really excited to put my outfits together. shopping i got some stuff from cbs i got some stuff from steve madden and now i'm currently locked out of our place so i'm currently waiting for trend i've just been sitting here for like literally 45 minutes and although i really hate this because this is totally a waste of my time right now and i'm so stupid for forgetting my key i do feel kind of at peace right now like the sky is so blue it is so sunny it's nice hearing the birds and it's just kind of nice to sit outside and get some fresh air so honestly i'm like not hating my life completely sorry it's not looking good <laughs> No! 
The girls are making smoothies. Ooh. We are how long away from leaving? As soon as our smoothies are done, we're on our way. Do you have ginger in yours? Yes, please. We're almost ready to go. Making our last final touches. I honestly am really hoping that I brought everything I needed. Some of this for the nutrients. Our last wellness <laughs> kicks before we go to Coachella. Good job. Yeah, I don't want to know. I'm okay, honestly. For nutrients? <laughs> no, I'm Do we want... It's really bad. I couldn't swallow it. It's bad. <laughs> I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. it. Okay, my green juice is good to go, and now we just have Fern making hers, and then we are hitting the road. And it's time to go to the You guys, it's day one. I've got wee me, wee me. We are so excited. We're here with Neutrogena. And we love them. We love Neutrogena. Already used every single one of their products. We really did. So we just got to Palm Springs last night. I will give a little bit of an overview of our hotel room, even though we've kind of <laughs> destroyed <laughs> it. Destroyed the I destroyed it before she even entered the hotel room. There was, yeah, there was but no that's okay. We are currently getting ready though. It is day freaking one. I just put some Day zero on. already eight. It was, we literally ate. We had so much fun. We ate so much for, you know, prepping ourselves. We prep for energy. So yeah. anyways, we're so excited. We're gonna finish getting ready. We don't really know what our outfits start are Start getting yet. ready. We need to start getting ready. We have like no time actually. Lay out our outfits on the floor. Yeah, I'll give you guys an update as it goes. Yay! I'm actually so excited. It's been not even a day and our room is looking a little bit traumatic, but I'm obsessed with the fact that we have so much floor space. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. <laughs> I'm actually here with Neutrogena and I'm so excited. Also, I just put on these fake nails and tell me they didn't kind of eat. Like, these are press-ons and they kind of slid. Also, I'm like so different color. Oh my god. Sunscreen actually is like a good primer. Like, it, it can is. always feel so like oily. I mean. We're gonna go hella primer. The little Uzi's today, right? I think so, yeah. We're getting bronze blind. We're both gonna walk out and we're actually blind. Yeah, it's actually gonna be orange. I might. And we're just like encouraging each other. It's very possible. As most people, I'm super excited for Lana, but I'm also really excited for Lil Uzi tonight. Yeah, Lil Uzi! Who else is playing? Faye Webster! Faye Webster, so excited. You guys know I went to her concert before, so I cannot wait. We did! Wait. It's a part two. It's gonna be great. And we're it's gonna so see good. her a third time if we go yeah. to Governor's Ball, which is a different oh festival. I'm also excited for Peso Pluma, obviously. Um, I just wanna like see him live. I think it'll be funny. Fun vibes. <laughs> We also have a few events that we're going to during the day. We're going to Celsius, which I'm super excited for. I've been to their parties before and they always host great parties. So I'm just excited for that. We're gonna use a tiny bit of foundation just because I'm a little bit scared, but a little bit, like tiny. Had to pick this up from the drugstore, so hopefully it's good. This is the NYX Matte Finish Mini Matte Primer, but I feel like I've heard it's good. It says 16 hours, so it's gonna be a long day today. 17th hour, we need to leave. <laughs> we have to drench the face. dress with me day one Coachella I'm so excited guys look at our room it is we are, you know good. <laughs> we are getting dressed yeah we're mixing casual with cowgirl with cool Lana it is Lana day so outfit is very much white it is cute it is a femme let me show you what we're working with it's a little bit of a last minute idea because I was planning on wearing something else but I decided that this from by Bambi is gonna be really cute okay the top part is on it looks like this it's a corset with mini shorts and then we've got this little bubble skirt the skirt is on we're gonna do some little cowboy boots I'm not sure if I should wear this belt and have the corset kind of tucked in or if the corset looks better out I have a gold little bag here I Okay, you guys, I think my outfit is done. White little on a vibe. We've got the country still. We've got the cowboy boots. We've got a bow in my hair. I love it so much. Okay, I'm off. I'm obsessed. Looks cute. So good. Okay, you guys, we're officially ready. We're Yay! ready to go. We're so excited. We are kind of different, but same. But similar. Yeah. It's that type. I'm feeling good. I like it. We're both feeling confident, fresh. Good. So good. Barbie so and good. Bratz. We're killing it. Yes.
first event of Coachella was this Celsius event. And Celsius is one of my favorite brands that throws events because every time they do it, they just do it so well. At this event, they had T-Pain and a few other DJs, I believe, that played. But we were so lucky to go to the VIP section. So that was super cool. It was like a little elevated area. And I got to meet so many fun people and dance and sing. And then after that, we walked all the way to the Coachella grounds. And tell me why somebody told me that it was just around the corner, maybe a 10 minute walk. And we were literally walking for an hour. Like our legs were so sore. We're going to Coachella. We were just at Celsius and it was so much fun, but we're finally at Coachella! Oh, Hell yeah! Oh, so excited! Oh my god! Look, 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 look. We've been walking for I think 45 minutes. We see it, we see it in front of us. Day two. Day two, Tyler. We're going boho tonight. Okay. Look at the boots. <laughs> Feeling some type of aesthetic. Look at the matching hair. Things in our hair. <laughs> we are so excited. We are heading to Revolve Fest first. If we have time, we'll go to Camp Poosh. And then we've got Coachella. And then we've got Neon Carnival. Run it! This is my outfit of the day. Outfit from Pepper Mayo. Boots, Steve Madden, Belt, Princess Polly. <laughs> Jewelry, suspicious looks. Mm -hmm. You look so good. Urban, so your color. These boots oh, might so. just be from Timo. Oh, this, handmade in Australia. Love. When we finally made it to Revolve Fest, this is what the venue looked like. Honestly, there was so much chatter about it not being that good this year because it was only going to be one day instead of two and the venue was going to be smaller, but I thought it was honestly just as fun. Basically, there was a whole bunch of different brands with like free products and free food and drinks and stuff, and so we would just go around and get all the stuff. Of course, there was the main stage and like T-Pain played here again. And so did Ludacris, and tell me why Ludacris was like one of my favorite acts that I saw the entire weekend. And it wasn't even at Coachella, but he was so good. He played so many throwback songs, and you'd be surprised how many songs Ludacris is actually featured in and he played all those songs so I died when he played Baby by Justin Bieber but yeah I had so much fun here we had Raising Cane's which we don't have in Canada which we loved I saw so many friends of course everyone had great fashion sense because it's all the Revolve girlies and they know fashion they had a bunch of art installations and photo ready spots and it was just a really good time Guys, we found the perfect spot for photos. Like, look at this sunset. It's beautiful. But it's a ring light IRL. <laughs> Girls, they used to turn. One, two, 
I want to just like wear these plugs. Stop. They look really cute. I brought some glasses too. Like, I'm gonna wear them. But anyway, we'll do a little outfit of the day later. Coachella day three. The outfits are on. We're gonna do a little OOTD. Me set from by Bambi. How cute are these bows on the back? I'm obsessed. My bag, it is a vintage Cynthia Raleigh vintage. from Reformation Vintage Store. Boots are Steve Madden. I've got these little socks from Amazon and just a whole bunch of jewelry. Killing it! Urban Day. Shirt is from Urban. Shorts are from Urban. Necklace Blank. is from Urban. Blank. These are ferns. These are from some Australian place. Thrifted. Boots are from so some fashion. Chill, chill, I don't know where. Oh, yeah. They've got, got them. I can tonight. finally be maybe really? yeah. see people. Totally. I'm so excited. This is our. Um, it's, it's, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we have mini shorts, so we can actually like, party. So we can dance. Out. We I wear mini shorts every day. Yeah. But this is like the mini mini shorts. Mini mini shorts. Okay. Anyways, we are just like, heading so into the Coachella grounds now, and we're so excited. Estar con ustedes aquí. I'm coming at you mm, a few days later. I wanted to give a little bit of an update and a little bit of a debrief on Coachella. This year in specific, I think I had more fun than I've ever had at Coachella before, and I think I was just like, I don't know. But Coachella was so freaking amazing. It was probably one of my best that I've ever had, and this is my third. So many memories were made. J Balvin was so good. Peso Pluma was so good. I loved Lil Yachty. We saw No Doubt. I just had so much fun, and we went to so many after parties and pre-parties. All of it was such a great time, and I'm so happy that Mayela, of all people, came with me. We really do click, and we just had so much fun. Like, I feel like I actually had fun and was laughing for like 104 hours straight. I'm not even kidding. We calculated it. Now that Coachella is done, I'm feeling a little bit distraught. I'm feeling like I wish I could go to weekend two. Coachella was like a three day bender, like my legs freaking hurt. I was doing 25,000 steps a day. And then now I've been doing nothing for the past like four days just to recover because I literally feel like my voice is still lost from Coachella. So I'm feeling kind of weird. I'm feeling kind of random. Now that I feel like I'm back to good now, I've had a few days to recover. We're still in LA for another like week and a half. I have so many things that I want to do. It's honestly not even enough time. And I've been having so much fun in LA. Like I literally want to move here. But that was it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below if you're going to any concerts this year because I just said yes to going to a music festival called Governor's Ball in New York. So I'm going to be there. It's in June. If any of you guys are going, let me know. I hope to see you guys there. I'm so excited. I'm so excited.